Hey guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. This is a Raptor Room update for July 2018. So let's get it. So in this free flow enclosure, it's my blackhead apart from Chris. Sorry about the camera guys. Uh, it's night time here and it doesn't focus well at night. So Chris here is fed on adult mice, 50 watt heat globe with She's in a three foot tank by one foot by one foot enclosure. Water bowl there, pool hide there, sticks, a couple of fake plants, and a termite hide as she is in. Quickly, you probably saw her already, but uh, see. She's uh, cage defensive as well, so I've got to be careful. I'll get you guys to get about it. Like I said before guys, she is a bit cage defensive. So she might hiss and strike and that. But when she's out of the cage, she's pretty good. So that's Chris. So in the cage down below is my male bearded dragon Rex. He's a two year old central bearded dragon. Today he's fed on bug tray, broccoli, or we did feed him broccoli but we didn't give him to him today. Carrot, strawberry, and banana. Water bowl, hide, UV, heat globe, a couple of fake plants, sticks. You got a couple of rocks that you sit on, warm up, then afterwards, you go behind and sleep. Don't you, buddy? So that's Rex. So in this three foot by one and a half by one and a half foot enclosure, is housed to my two adult blind spider pythons. This is Superstar. Checking me out. Um, they are fed on adult mice. Oh, red heat globe. There's growing back up in there. She's brumating at the moment. Big water bowl. A couple of hides. Well, actually, four of them now. Since I made that one. So that's Superstar. She's the elders in the collection. Being eight or nine. I think she'll be nine at the end of this year. So two blind spider pythons. And probably the sea grains nose is just people around the corner. Anyway, that's them in their three foot enclosure. So here's Emma my juvenile blind spider python who's fed on when a mice. She's in an old fish tank that I converted into a reptile enclosure. Underneath the glass here is a heat mat, which is just there. So that's a warm hide there, cool hide over there, a couple of sticks you can climb up, or should I say he. So yeah, that's Emma. I do apologise guys if it feels like I'm rushing through this. It's because I still got other videos to edit in that. That's Echo. And a broken door. Um, <laughs> she's my female Eastern Water Dragon. She just. I just cleaned this. You serious, right? Anyway. Open up. So she's fed on dog food, um, bok choy, um, strawberries, which is going to be in there. Carrot and sometimes broccoli and insects. She got a hammock. Um, nice substrate that all my reptiles are on the same substrate. A couple of stones, foam wall, UV along the top here. Peep there. So that's okay. My female water dragon. In this small terrarium is by Squawking Steve, who's just sitting there. I've got him out from his all. Um, hole. This light's dying, so there you go. Hollow a bit. If I torch can work, that would be nice. He's fed on insects, so a water dish there. He's mainly nocturnal, but he was sit there let me film him. He's got a couple of slabs of wood and a custom hollow made for him. I'll just close this for a second. Show you the substrate. So that's the substrate 
that I use for all my reptiles and scorpion and get it from Bunnings at a cheap price so yeah I'll move on down to here. So in this four foot by one and a half by one and a half enclosure are my two eastern boy tongues, Bluey and Bow. They are fed on the same things as Akko. A couple of hides there. Water bowl. Custom built hide that I made. These guys are fully grown. They'll be eight at the end of the year. Or next year, sorry. Beginning of next year. So yeah, those are my two easterns. They got a UV bulb here and a heat globe there. So those are my blue tongues. Basically, my room is still the same as last month. But in here is um in my newest addition or latest addition to the family, Molly, who's a past head jungle carpet python. She's fed on pinky rats. The water bowl there, a couple of foam walls either side with sticks, a hide there, warm hide down there. She's on a heat mat. All my animals have a 30 degree hotspot Celsius and a 25 degree cool side. I'll just get her out for you guys. She isn't in her best of colours because she's got the shed I believe. So, hey, I don't know that. She's my little jungle carpet python. It's kind of sad to hear that these guys get a, such a bad reputation of being a biting animal. For me, if you work with them while they're young like this, and you hold them and let them bite you and that, um, the, eventually they will lose their snappiness. And, it, and she's growing quite quickly too. She's a beautiful little jungle. When she sheds, she's a beautiful orange on oh the orange yellow bright yellow coloration with black outlining with like a grayish tinge to her skin so that's molly my little jungle see if can I focus please anyway that's what you can see like chris she's also cage defensive so in this four foot tall enclosure is my male Jungle, jungle coastal carpet python, Murray. He's got a big water dish down there, custom hide, hammock. He's almost six foot now. He's pretty much as long as me. He's fed on small rats. Even though he, he, I'm feeding him small rats, he's got a very small head for some reason. So he's got a UV bulb there with a ceramic heat globe. Like I said, with every enclosure, 30, anywhere from 29 to 32 degrees Celsius. But, and also between, that's a hot spot, while their cool side is anywhere from 25 to 27. And I'm hoping in the near future that I'll be able to breed these two. Anyway, moving on to the last animal. In this two foot enclosure by one foot by one foot is by Lowland Blotch Blue Tongue Blaine, who I believe is going to shed some point in the near future. He's got a heat globe up there, UV. He's fed on the same things as Blue and Bow, which is dog food, carrot, strawberry, bok choy. He's got a hide there, custom hide there. Water bowl. Hello, boy. And you're probably going to hide in a second. Yep. He's still got a lot of growing to do. Um, once he is large, or almost the length of this enclosure, without growing to hide that mane, he'll be going in here with these other guys. So that's it for the Rotom Room update, guys. Sorry if it felt like it's been rushed. It's just basically the same thing as the last two months at least. Um, every time something new happens I'll let you know anyways. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you got any questions let me know and I'll catch you all guys in another video. Cheers.